guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's keeping well. Um, I'm just going to tie his wee. It's just a variant of the, the alley shrimp. Um, but I'll just show you how to put it together. So the hook and the vise is a partridge patriot double in size 10. And this is they're in the, the black nickel. The thread that I'm going to use is uni 380 white. I mean you can use any thread you want. I'm using the white because we're just going to put a wee tag of glow bright floss on at the back. It's just to give it every opportunity to be as bright as it can. Now, just a couple of turns of thread on the shank of the hook. Remove the waist tag of thread. Then the, the tag at the back. This is a hot yellow wire UTC. So I'm just going to work my thread down until I'm at the points of the hooks. Now, I tied this fly. This wee variant of it. About a week or so ago. So that's five turns in the tag, and then bring the waist end up in between the, the two hooks. I tied it a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't been doing much filming, guys. To be honest with you, it's just it's been too warm, you know. And I suppose, like every other summer, an angler in the country praying for rain. Now, the tail is usually on a alley shrimp, the vast majority of the time, is bucktail. This is jumps, just some fox that I've dyed a, a, a sunburst orange. It's more to the orange side now. Just got a wee bit off. Just to sort of wait, get us started. Right, the length of the tail, it's up to you guys. If you're going to tie the fly, I usually like mine anywhere between a length and a half. The two lengths of the hook over the back. So a couple of turns will catch that in. Lift your waist. Just to try and take it away in a bit of a tapered cut if you can. Then under the tail, I'm just going to add some of this. This is the nano flesh in a fluorescent orange. Now you don't have to put flesh in, I know not everybody. It's a model over of it, so if you don't like it, leave it out. A couple of turns up over the top of the longer pieces, the waist ends, trim those away. Right. I'm taking up with a couple of turns here, nice and tight. Now we put at the back, like I say, it's going to be a glow bright frost number four. So with two strands off, I'm just going to pull that in the length that I want the tag to be, and work my thread forward. Then work around with my glow bright. I'm going to go back there, I just want to build this up, I want this to be nice and bright. But there, I'll fill that around with my thread. And then a couple of tight turns now. Don't, don't be chopping that off right in tight. Bring it out, give yourself a wee bit of purchase, something to tie in. That's what I like to do anyway. And then I'm going to take my thread forward. And everything in, I'm going to bring it right up. Sort of right within a mill of where I've start, started the thread, and that gives me a sort of way my measurement. We've got our tail in, you can see that's looking, it's looking well, it's looking okay. Now I'm going to go back to my hot yellow wire from my rib. You don't have hot yellow wire, just use gold, or just use whatever you have. Now I'm just going to catch it in underneath, like I say, and work my thread back down. Now the whole body's going to be a gold. So I'm just going to use this. This is the, the large gold holographic tinsel. I get mine from Van Yards, but there's loads of places that sell the holographic tinsel now. And then work my thread back down. Then we'll come around with our gold holographic. Nice tight turns. Body of the fly, a couple of turns in front, and you can throw away the waist. Then we'll bring up our rib. You're probably looking at three to four turns, something like that, to protect the, the holographic tinsel. Should also say before you bring up your tinsel, or you can put on some varnish or super glue if you wish. It's up to you. Then I'm going to bend and break away the wire. 
Uh, the wing on the alleys is traditionally usually a, a grey squirrel tail. I'm going to use this. This is white marble fox. And I get my marble fox from Andrew Humphreys at uh, Blob and Buzzer. Now, I have some off here. I've taken off, but I don't want to see the guard hers. Just take those out. I don't want to see those in it. Then I'm just going to thin it out another wee bit. Just a wee tiny bit. It's just a wee bit too much. Then you're going to offer this up. I'm a little bit sort of way, I don't know, around about halfway or just slightly past halfway into the tail. Just pinch and loop it on top. Around with a pinch and loop. A couple of tight turns. Just to see what way we're See what way we're sitting. Just have a wee check. Yep. I'm happy enough with that. Lift the waist ends. Go and trim that away. And then I've got another piece of the the white marble fox. Just yet again, just thinning it out a bit and taking out some of the the guard hairs. I'm just going to add this in underneath. Just want to get the, the length. Something similar, it doesn't have to be perfect case, but something similar. Have a wee check. See where we're sitting. Happy enough for that, so just waist the ends again and we'll knock those away. And then I'm just going to tidy up with the cut ends. Now you can put some flesh into the wing there tied it that way before. Different variations of it with flesh, top and bottom. But I'm not going to bother. Then the tippet, you're going to tip it feller. I'm having to use a small one because this is the colour I want to use. This is a real strong fluorescent orange, this colour. I think it's basically, it's called a solar flare. So just taking the tippet fibre, rubbing it just bring it up, that's what you're doing, just bring it in, the fibres in on each other, rubbing it together like that. Now I want the tippet fibre coming past the, the glow bright floss tag. It's a couple of turns. Right, just have a wee check. Make sure it's sitting for you. Right, I just like to hold these. Because I do have a tendency to move. And then just trim away the, the waist end. And work your thread down over the cut ends. Nice and tight now with the thread turns there and back up. Now, that's not going to be his knees at. <laughs> then the front haggle. Just going to put on a hand haggle. This is a one at all so taking away one side it's just too much for me the full haggle the full favoured haggle I should say two three turns heading down fold the tip back this just means if you if you fold your tip back like that your haggle won't pull out it will literally I'll have to burst or break off and then the turns at this point up to you. I suppose it depends on the turns when I tie salmon flies. I really look at more of a little bit facing it. So I'm going to be facing fast water. More of a slower glade, if you like. Um, it's up to you if you just tie it the way you want. Uh, just using the full haggle there. So I think that was about two or three turns I got out of it. It's just slipped. So I've got to go back. Slips like that, just go back, come back in. This heat at the minute, that's just a wee bit of rain. We can go on my skies at this point, especially even just for the rivers. Not to get out fishing, just to get them replenished. Now, nice tight turns to catch in your stem. Don't worry about it all sitting back like that at the moment. What we can do is come in and just bring out the Bring out the haggle fibers here. We put it's going to sit like this anyway when it goes through the water. So 
Then at the front, I'm going to brighten the head up. So I'm just going to come in with my whip finishing tool and just put down my thread turns at the front first. Nice and tight. Just tidying this up. That's all I'm doing there. Bring the thread nice and tight. Trim away your tying thread. And then we're just going to come in and put in a wee drop of glow bright floss at the front. I'm just going to use red. This is the, the number three. You could go back to the, the number four if you wish. That's up to you. And then just, just come up with three or four turns just over the top of your tying thread. Trim away the waist. And then just come in with your whip finishing tool. And just shape your head. Couple turns, pull the thread tight. Come in, trim away the floss I should say. Then the first coat onto the head as always. Super glue. Now, seeing you put this on, just be careful not to touch your your hackle. I would rather get it up here on the hook than on the dressing. It's easy. Wipe the off up there. Then just work the glue the whole way around. Now once that dries guys, if you're going to use super glue, I would suggest that you come in and varnish over the top of the glue just to seal it all up and there you go that's just a, a wee variant of a, a gold and orange if you like alley shrimp that's a nice bright wee number and the white the white will show well and show up in the water so that's it guys hopefully you got something from that it's a nice soft approach to it with the fox and then the, the front haggle being a, a, a hen haggle. So, until next time, please stay safe. Fingers crossed, we'll get a load of rain and we can get out after the salmon. Hopefully they're there this year. And uh, if you do, tight lanes and I hope you catch plenty. See you on the next one guys. Bye.